اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الف لام را کتاب الانزلناہو الیکا This is a book which we have sent down to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, le tukhrij an nasa min zulumati ila nur, so that you bring out people from all shades of darknesses into the light. Be isn't the Rabbihim, but this you will be able to do with the leave of Allah, with the permission of Allah. Not that whomsoever you want to bring out from the darkness, you can bring it. No, this authority is not with you. Inna kalla tahdi man ahbabta, walakin Allah yahdi man yasha. But you have to try for that. بیزن ربہم الى صراط العزیز الحمید to the path of Allah who is العزیز almighty and who is حمید who is praised worthy and who is praised him in himself self praised اللہ اللذی لہو ما فی السماوات و ما فی الارض اللہ is he to whom belongs everything which is in the heavens and in the earth وَوَيْلُ لِلَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ عَذَابٍ شَدِيدٍ And woe to the disbelievers from severe punishment and punishment that is that is going to be their lot. The lazinas yes tahibun al hayat al dunya. Those who have preferred this life of this dunya al al akhira over the hereafter. This is the crucial thing. Which life you prefer? Life of here, this world, or the life of hereafter? This is crucial. You have to make a choice. You know, you may say that you are believing in Akhira, but actually your behavior will show which one you are preferring, this life or that life. What amount of your time and energies they are being spent for that life and how, what amount or percentage of your time and energies and all your, you know, your uh, say, your jod and all your working is devoted only to the requirements of this life. This is actually, your conduct will show it. الَّذِينَ يَسْتَحِبُّونَ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنِيَا عَلَى الْآخِرَةَ وَيَسُدُّونَ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ And they themselves held back from the path of Allah and stop other also. وَيَبْغُونَ هَا عِوَجَا And they want to find crookedness, mistakes with the message of Allah. أُولَائِكَ فِي ذَلَالٍ بَعِيدٍ They have gone far astray. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ بِلِسَامِ قَوْمِهِ And we didn't send any messengers but with the tongue, with the language of his own nation. لَيُبَيِّنَ اللَّهُمْ So that he explains it to his nation. Had he been sent with some foreign language, it couldn't be intelligible for his nation, for his people. So every prophet of Allah, every messenger of Allah, to him the revelation came in his own tongue, in his own language. Because, you know, Torah was in Hebrew. Quran is in Arabic. Maybe if somebody was sent, we can't say for sure, But if some, someone, as we know, in essential, essentially as a principle, must have been sent in, in you know, such a big country, what a big chunk of humanity lives in China, there must have been sent some prophet. You know, the revelation to him must have come in Chinese language. So this is the, the rule. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ بِرِسَانِ قَوْمِهِ لَيُبَيِّنَ لَهُمْ فَيُدِلُّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَهْدِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ When it is all explained and made clear, now... Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends astray whomsoever likes and he guides whomsoever he likes. And I've told you many a time, this can go both ways. Allah guides whomsoever he likes, he, he, he likes and Allah guides whosoever wants to be guided. And Allah, you know, sends astray whomsoever he decides or you can say Allah sends astray to whomsoever He wants to be to go astray himself, so Allah gives him, leaves him alone. Go which way you want to go. Wahoo al Azizul Hakim, and he is al Aziz, having all power and authority, and Hakim having all wisdom. Walakad arsalna Musa bi ayatina, and we have sent Musa with our signs and miracles. An akhrit qom ka min al zulmat in al nur. They bring out, try to bring up out your people. From all shades of darknesses, shade of shirk, shade of kurf, shade of materialism and so on. Azulumat ila nur to the light of iman. Wa zakkir hum bi ayyam illah. Now this term which I have been using you know for so many days, you find this term in Quran. Zakkir hum bi ayyam illah. Now admonish them, remind them by mentioning to them the big days of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Which were those big days? in which whole nations were annihilated. Whole communities 
میڈ ایز اف دے نیور لیوڈ کالم یگ نو فی ہا دی ہول پیپل آف نو ڈراؤنڈ دی ہول پیپل آف فوڈ دی آر دی بگ نیشن دے فنشڈ ایکسٹرمینیٹڈ اینی ہیلیٹڈ سو دوز ڈیز ان وچ دیز بگ کمانڈز آف اللہ سبحان و تعالی ور ایگزیکیوٹڈ دے آر کالڈ ایام اللہ دے آر دی ڈیز آف اللہ سبحان و تعالی فذکرہم بی ایام اللہ as i told you in makki surah one pe one surah of the pair it will more emphasize at tazkir bi ala illah and the other you will more find at tazkir bi ayyam illah this is the term over here wa zakkirhum bi ayyam illah inna fi zalika la ayati li kulli sabbarin shukur definitely in those ayyam illah in those stories and events there are signs for those who are steadfast and grateful wa is qala musa li qaum uzkuru ni'mat allah alaykum And when Moses said, Musa said to his people, Bani Israel, Uskuru ni'mat Allah alaykum, just remember the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that came to you. He said, Jaakum min ala Fir'aun. When he delivered you from the people of Fir'aun, Yasubu lakum su al-azab. Now just remember the wordings of Surah Al-Baqarah. The same words are happening here. And I am only, you know, drawing your attention to it so that you know these surahs are closer regarding the period of their revelations because they are just before hijra surah al baqara just after hijra yasumunakum sul azab they were inflicting you with the with the worst of the chastisements what was it wa yuzabihuna abnaakum they were killing and slaying and murdering your sons wa yastahyuna nisaakum and they were keeping your women and your, chil- and your female children female offsprings alive but fi zalikum balaw bi rabbikum azim and definitely in it there was a grievous trial for you from your lord wa istazana rabbukum and just remember when your lord proclaimed la in shakartum la zidannakum if you are grateful if you show gratefulness we have given you these blessings we have given you the book torah if you show great gratefulness la zidannakum i'll give you more and more my blessings will be increased wala in kafartum But if you prove to be ungrateful, unthankful, thankless people in Azabi la Shadid, then my chastisement is also very severe. Wa kala Musa in takfuru antum wa manfil arde jamian fa in Allah la ganiyun hamid. And Musa said to them, If you or all who live in the world, in in the whole of the earth, if they become kuffar, if they deny Allah, if they reject Allah, if they are ungrateful to Allah, fa in Allah la ganiyun hamid. they will not be able to do any harm to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is laghani he is self sufficient he doesn't need anything and he is self praised and he is praiseworthy or self praised 